Well, we know a lot of you either live, work, or play here in Marion County, and today the city of Indianapolis made the announcement all of us have been waiting for. The city is mostly moving on to stage three of the governor's back on track plan. Our Mary Mills shows us what's opening all across Marion County. Yes, Marion County is moving into stage three starting this Friday. That means that churches, synagogues, all houses of worship can now hold indoor services at 50% of capacity with no limits on those wanting to hold outdoor services. And then Monday, June 1st, a slew of changes affecting businesses that haven't been open for more than two months. This includes spas, hair salons, barbershops, and tattoo parlors, but by appointment only and at half their normal capacity, with both employees and customers required to wear masks. Restaurants, which opened for outdoor dining last weekend, will be able to offer indoor dining as well, again at 50%. And good news for those of you eager to play hoops, tennis, or softball, courts and non-contact sports fields will also reopen, but that's non-contact sports, so no football. Gyms, fitness centers, and pools also get the green light with caps on attendance and social distancing. Malls and retail stores will be able to welcome more shoppers with capacity going from 50 to 75 percent. Daycare, summer camps, and YMCA programs can also open, with caps now on public gatherings increased to 50 people. So what's not allowed to open yet? Places that rely on large crowds often in close proximity. That means movie theaters and live performance venues like the Hilbert Circle Theater, home to the Indianapolis Symphony and the IRT. It also includes tourism venues like museums and the Indianapolis Zoo, along with bowling alleys, arcades, and bars. As for when those places in the Children's Museum get the go-ahead, there's no indication yet. Now, we do know this is a lot of information to take in, so we've listed the rules and dates for you to see on WTHR.com. Well, Mayor Joe Hogshead said he was pretty happy with the first weekend of outdoor dining, saying it was incredibly successful. 84 restaurants were approved to have seating outside. More are expected to offer that option this weekend. Our cities had to close some of the roads to make room for restaurants to expand their seating outdoors. But the Department of Public Works is telling us that Metro Police will reopen the southwest quadrant of Monument Circle after feedback that they got over the weekend.